So what's going on Fredsters? Welcome back to another fun day. Just now getting off the water, but man, I got an exciting video for you guys today. I think today was probably the most fun I've had out in the water in a while. We didn't catch no no big huge fish, but we definitely caught some fish and I had an awesome time out there. The weather's picking up. It's starting to get good. I just want to say thanks all you all you supporters out there, all you Fredsters. We hit a milestone of 900 and it's continuing to grow. So I just want to thank all you guys for checking out my channel and watching the videos and continuing the support. Yeah, today's going to be a fun video. Hopefully, hopefully I edit it kind of good or whatever. But yeah, I just want to say I appreciate all you guys and I appreciate all the comments, all the likes. If you guys could, you Fredsters out there, if you guys could all just give me a thumbs up on the video. This is going to help, uh, help the channel out. It's going to help promote videos and push them around and viewer uh, feedback is always always good on YouTube it likes I don't know how they do it with their algorithm but that's how stuff gets pushed around and get exposed to more people there's one person well I don't know if it's one person but on all my videos I have one thumbs down so if, I don't know what the what the problem is there if it's a mistake but I just want to ask all you Fredsters out there that enjoy the channel to give me a thumbs up and comment down below something awesome that you like about the channel or something you want to see me do on the channel because uh, I want to try to grow this channel this year and see what we can do with it but yeah I just want to say thanks you guys for checking out the channel and supporting Fishing with Fred I appreciate all you Fredsters out there and uh, we're going to keep making videos we're going to keep having fun catching fish but uh, let's watch today's video it's going to be hopefully it turns out pretty good but I had fun out there that's the only thing that matters Alright, that guy's not going to bite. I'm right here dropping my kayak off. And I saw a nice little spot of bass right here. So I threw that. Got a little Nico rig from the last video. Well, last time I was out. Robo worm. Nico rig. And uh, yeah, I was just going to drop the kayak right here. And I saw a nice spot of bass is cruising. But yeah, no go on him. Alright, Fester, so we're dropping the kayak in right now, and I noticed on the ground we have some some claws here from crawdads, and I look over, and there goes big old crawfish right there. Look at him, he's huge. So they're coming out of their barrels. It's getting that time of year. The bass should be munching on these guys. Know how well you can see this guy but he probably came out of one of these holes in the side and uh he's waking up from winter trying to eat up freaking huge so that's why i chose a crawl imitation whoa because uh yeah they're eating the crawl dads there's red stuff everywhere Freaking tiger bass. Oh boy. Oh. Dude. Dude. 
Dude, he smashed that thing. Came right out. Oh my god. This fish smashed that crawl dad right now. Nice little football. <laughs> what a stud fish. Dude, you wanted that crawl dad a little bit, didn't you? See that thing? He nailed it. He nailed it. All right, buddy. Hopefully you're one of a couple for today. <laughs> he came out from this grass line. I saw him. I pitched my jig and I was just creeping it on the bottom. And I saw that fish come out from underneath this undercut grass. From this undercut grass right here. And I popped it. I popped that jig and he came up and smashed it. That was big. That's the hardest bite I've had all year. He nailed that, that, uh, bio crawl. Back up a little bit. So these fish, they're definitely eating on crawls. Most definitely. So I'm looking, today I'm... I'm looking for an F1 hybrid tiger bass. Supposedly, I've been doing a little research on uh, the history of bass fishing in California. And I guess they started planting northern strain largemouth in California back in the 70s. Maybe even earlier than that. But I was reading an article about it. And uh, so, yeah, they started off with the northern. And then they introduced the um, Florida strain. And the, the, the biologist noticed that the, um, the northern and the Florida bass, they would hibernize. And they came up with their own species. They call it an F1 tiger bass. And they, they found, I'll read this article a little bit, but they've noticed that this uh, the hybrid outgrows both the large and the northern strain largemouth quite a lot. So they did that test and it went well. So they planted throughout the um, entire state pretty much, uh, Florida largemouth. So pretty much, I don't know if, I don't know if um, how much of a true statement it is, but they said most, most big fish are, are usually those F1, F1 hybrid tiger bass. That's a Northern and a Florida strain hybrid. And I feel like I've caught a couple here. I just didn't know it was a thing. But uh, hopefully we can catch one today. I've been looking up pictures and stuff, and they're the ones that have like those dominant lateral lines. I'll, I'll probably read the article and give you guys a little bit more uh, perspective or insight on the history of California bass fishing because I was interested, and I wanted to know kind of when they introduced bass into my local lake and I ended up stumbling across this article. Let's see, right there. Let's see if I can pop it out. Stupid tree, dude. I got my jig back, though. That's all that matters. There's a bunch of goldfish right there. A bunch of golden carp. I don't know how well you guys can see them. They're all right there. There's a bunch of them. Calicos. Look at them. Oh, they're all coming to me. Oh, look at 
look how cool. That one's bad looking. That one's that one's like a calico cat. Oh, 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 there's so many carp right here. I wish you guys could see these better. I want to get a handle so I can put it underneath the water so you guys could see them. There's so many of them though. They're just coming out of this tree. There's like 50 of them at least. Maybe I can't put my hand in the water. Hopefully the camera picked up all those uh, those carp because that was pretty darn cool. I'm thinking about getting like a handle, kind of like what Ola has, and uh, there's everywhere. There's so many of them here. Oh, this one's badass looking. This one's orange with black spots on his back. Oh, there's another one. There's no way I'm getting this fish on. Huh? Oh, yeah, there is. Barely got you, dude. This guy had me wrapped around like no other right now. That might be a F1 Tiger hybrid. Dude, this wind is crazy. I didn't think I was getting him out. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, bub. Another decent one. Yeah, I don't think this is a hybrid. I'm not too sure how to tell, though. Look at that guy. Another decent little dude. Thanks for biting. Thanks for uh, coming unpinned from that tree, too. Alright. There we go. Second one of the day. Thank you. Oh my god. What is this thing, dude? What is this? Is that a carp? Is that a carp? Oh my god. Dude, this thing's heavy. What is this thing? What the heck? What is this? Are you a carp? Oh my gosh. This thing's huge. Ah, look, he bit it. What the heck? This is insane. Um. How did you even get in here, man? I need a better net. That's for sure. Alright, we're gonna try to flip this net over. There we go. He's out. On that side. There we go. There we go. Can I just get like a quick picture with you and then we can let you go? That work. That's my first carp. I believe that's what it is. It's a carp, I believe. Alright, let's let this guy go. nasty. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get this guy back. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, you're good. Alright, Fredsters, I really wanted to catch one more bass to end the video, but caught my first carp today, or this year is about Catching new species, I guess. I've caught a sucker so far. Now a carp. What other species should I target or randomly catch? Let me know in the comments below if 
what if I should go catfishing what should I do um, yeah anyways I wanted to catch one more bass for the video but I caught a carp and that's that's cool with me we're gonna get off the water um, fun little session bass are definitely on the eat crawdads are cruising caught a couple nice bass that um, that carp was pretty heavy I don't know how much it weighed probably like five pounds but uh put you guys back on the chest mount and uh, I'm gonna get out of here just want to say thanks for coming back to the channel thanks for checking out another video until the next one you guys have fun catch fish I'll see you guys soon <laughs>